Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. You ready to bake today? Do you have clean hands? Rolled up your sleeves? Apron on? Check, check, check? Nice. But today we're not gonna be using our oven or our stove, so we're not really baking. But because yesterday was Cinco de Mayo, or the 5th of May, I thought maybe we would make my favorite food, which is guacamole. And I love eating it any day, but especially on Cinco de Mayo. So first, let me go over the ingredients. I have six avocados that I've peeled, and as you can see in there, I have some pits, and that'll keep the avocado from turning brown because it's gonna sit out and I'm gonna eat it for some time. I have four tablespoons of lime juice. I have a quarter red onion, three cloves of garlic and a jalapeno because I like it spicy, but please, if you don't like spicy, don't add that. And I have three chopped tomatoes. I'm gonna use some of this cilantro and some salt and some pepper. You ready to mix it all together? Yeah? Okay, let's get to it. Okay, as you can see, I already prepped everything by chopping it up, so you could just see me mix it together here. So I'm gonna start with my avocados. I have a spoon and I have a fork because I'm gonna mush it. But before I do that, I'm gonna add the lime juice first. The lime juice will start making the avocado soft and mushy. I like to get that all mixed in so it can start doing its thing. Next, I will add my mixture of garlic, onion, and jalapeno. There you go. Mix that in. Okay, my tomatoes. Wow, that looks great already. Okay, I'm gonna do salt to taste, so I'm just gonna shake it in slowly. Always add more, but don't forget the chips will also probably be salty. And a little bit of black pepper. These are pretty much the basic ingredients that are always found in guacamole, but sometimes I like to put different things in my guacamole, like green onions black beans, corn, it could be a lot of fun things you can put in it, okay? So feel free to explore your pantry and your refrigerator and find what you like. And the last thing I need is cilantro. So let me get that cut up and ready to pour in there. Okay, this is my cilantro plant, look at that. I love cilantro. And this is how you find it here in Denmark. It's hard to find it other ways, like you find it in the United States. So I'm just gonna chop off some of these leaves so I can chop them up and put them in. As you can see, I gave my cilantro plant a little haircut. I'm gonna keep it watering it and put it in the window so it can get some sunshine and I can get some more cilantro. And this cilantro that I cut, I'm gonna wash and chop. Okay, I'm gonna add my cilantro. Now I'm 
just gonna use my fork and mush it up. Okay, so I have all the ingredients mixed up in my guacamole, and you might think, wow, six avocados is a lot for two people. Not in this family. I can guarantee you this will be gone by the end of the night, but everybody likes things differently, so make what's necessary for your family. And as you can see, the consistency of this is pretty mushy. What's the opposite of mushy? Something hard, right? Maybe crunchy, like chips. Yeah, so to enjoy my guacamole, I'm gonna eat some chips. I'm gonna have mushy and crunchy hard together. And oh my gosh, this looks so amazing. I love it. Mm. I'll see you tomorrow. Gotta enjoy my guac.